Carlos Medin, the president of the Trilateral Trade Consortium, is speaking again today with the economic leaders of the islands of Hatfield and McCoy. Once again, I want to welcome all of you to this meeting. There are some important developments that you need to know about. I know you're presently in the process of negotiating trade agreements for the first time with Abbeydale and Springfield. But I am sorry to have to tell you that their strained relationship has led to yet another outbreak of their bitter war. That means that for your own peace and safety, neither of you will be able to negotiate any trade agreements with either of them. But there is hope. The premiers of each of your islands, Hatfield and McCoy, have contacted me to express interest in developing a trade agreement between your two islands. And this seems like a good idea to us at the Trilateral Trade Consortium. There are, of course, a few obstacles. For instance, the Premier of McCoy is concerned about negotiating trade with what he thinks are the shifty and dishonest people of Hatfield. And the Premier of Hatfield is reluctant to trade with McCoyans because he thinks they are sneaky and untrustworthy. We need to try to overcome these attitudes. Both of your premiers believe that trade will be good for both production and efficiency. If you can negotiate a good trade agreement in spite of the fact that you don't trust one another, it would benefit both islands. So now, I want you to negotiate a trade agreement that will yield the best possible terms for both. Determine what will be produced by one of you and what your neighboring island will produce. Now, don't be concerned about how much will be produced. We'll have our economist at the Trilateral Trade Consortium work that out once you've completed the negotiations. Now, all of you here are the economic leaders of both Hatfield and McCoy Islands. You are responsible adults and know what's best for your island. And today, you'll have the unique opportunity to negotiate a fair and honest trade agreement that will benefit both of you. You'll have 15 minutes to develop this agreement. Please sit at the table my assistant assigns you at that meeting and be prepared to negotiate on behalf of your island. And most important, please try to overcome your distrust in order to develop this agreement. But at the same time, be very cautious about what you agree to on behalf of your people. Our thanks to all of you.